All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to model this uh, spiral staircase. I uh, I would like to show you the the principles that I use when I need to model this kind of uh, stairs in Rhino. Uh, of course, there is uh, multiple ways, and there is also like uh, parametric way in Grasshopper. But for this tutorial, we're going to do just uh, uh, to do it in Rhino. So let's start. So first thing I'm going to I'm going to actually start uh, a line at the center of of my uh, uh, of my plane here, and I'm gonna type 2.2 meters, and let's divide this into 13 segments. So I used divide command to divide this, and now I'm going to use a helix command. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to use this one. So I'm gonna use this around curve option. I'm gonna select the curve and I'm gonna type the distance here. Actually, I changed here the turns to one because you want it to finish on the top. And uh, let's uh, type the, the radius to 0 0.6, enter. Uh, so this would be uh, this would be the staircase. Uh, now we can actually divide this line as well into 13 segments. And let's connect these guys. Uh, for the sake of it, if you don't want to miss something, for example, if you're just connecting here points with points, you want to turn off all these snaps and leave just the points position. Uh, this will make it much easier for you to snap in the correct position. See, it, it's just snapping to the points. When you have a lot of these uh, uh, snaps turned on, sometimes they can interfere with each other and uh, uh, you can miss some, uh, some lines and then you have the problem with the geometry later on. So I just like to use this as clean as possible. Once we have this, we're gonna use sweep to command. We're gonna select the first rail, the second rail, and now we're selecting the cross section curves. We're going one by one. And okay, and this is the easier fine. So now once we have this, uh, we actually want to uh, create like these steps, the height of the steps. So I'm selecting, I'm selecting these lines or uh, easier way is to just say select curve. And then I'm going to deselect this one and this one. Uh, you're deselecting by holding control and then pressing on the button. So now I'm just gonna say extrude curve up 0 0.17 and we have simple steps. Now the tricky part here is that you want this curve, you, you would want it to offset it until there. And now since we need to create this element here, we need to divide this guy also. So we're, we're actually split it first. So we're splitting it first. And now we're splitting it in these uh, 13 segments. Like so. And now the thing that you want to use is set point and I'll leave it to Z and press OK. And once you click here, it will be in the same plane. And that's what we want here. So I'm going to do the same for, for all of them. The thing you can notice here, uh, for example, with, with, the, uh, with this set point command is that uh, I don't actually need to uh, turn on the, the control points first 
and then use set point on Z axis. I mean, it, it will work both ways, but you can just use simple, uh, uh, you can just use it as, as it is right now. You don't need to turn around the control points. So there's just something that you didn't know, maybe didn't know, and then this can speed you up. Now, uh, once we have this, we also actually need to divide this curve as well. Split it, sorry. So let's split it. The same way we split the, the top one. We could have actually do, do, uh, done this in the same time, but I forgot. Okay. Uh, now, once you have this split, uh, you can use this select points option here to select all these guys and delete them. We don't need them anymore. And now let's use sweep two. I'm select this guy and this guy and then this one. And there you go. So sweep sweep two option is quite useful when it comes to uh, filling out these kind of uh, voids and filling like even if you don't have uh, section curves on both sides, it will recognize the first one and then follow along these rails until the end. And uh, you can use it really in many different uh, situations. Uh, the, the whole idea behind sweep two is that uh, you use two main uh, two main rails and then you use the section as the third one but you can actually have multiple sections it doesn't need to have only one and this is the way how we created the initial the initial uh, spiral surface and we can uh, also use it for for this siding as well uh, okay so let's see when we finish this So now we need to fill this, uh, fill these guys here. We can also use sweep two, but let's try something else now. Let's try, let's try planner surface. Yes. Boom. That's it. If you're wondering why this is green, uh, I actually created an option that here it allows me to see the back face of the of the geometry so that I know which uh, which face is facing up, which face is facing down. This is very useful when it comes to like uh, optimizing the geometry for 3D printing. So here you just change this back face color to whatever color you want and it will change here. So this is quite useful to know which geometry is correct and which you need to flip. And in case that you see that something is flipped like this, uh, you can use the command just flip and it turns, it reverses the face direction. So that's just something that I usually use because it gives me better uh, look at, at my model. Okay, so now let's just fill out all of these guys with planner surface, flip it. I'm going to do all of them first. I'm going to select them. I'm actually selecting them by holding control and shift. This way I can actually select the surface edge as well, not just the curve. You can see that, for example, you can see how this edge is thicker than this one. It's because this is the surface edge and this is the, just the curve that, that was there. See, so this one is thinner than this one. It means that I selected the surface edge. If I just select it uh, simply, I will not be able to select the surface edge and I will be able to select only the curves. So right now I'm, uh, I'm selecting all of them. And once, uh, once I have that, I will join everything together. And hopefully we'll, we'll not need to flip every photomatic again. So everything is selected. Let's press planner surface. And here it is. And now let's, let's pr press join. And boom, everything is flipped. 
automatically accept this guy. We can extract this guy, extract surface and flip it like so. But we maybe we don't need it. So uh, this is the this is the model. Uh, I just wanted to show you like what's the easiest, quickest way. I'm actually not sure how this will uh, how this is standing because it's like basically on the edge. But that's the model. So hope that you like this video. So I'll just quickly render this now and show you the result. Here is the final rendering. Hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.